We study how coastal habitats may support fish populations. In this project, we show that stone reefs allow Atlantic cod to save energy. The saved energy could be used for increased growth and reproduction, potentially leading to larger fish populations. During the current period of the planet called the Anthropocene, the degradation of coastal habitats is a global concern. Several factors have caused degradation of reefs, including troll fisheries, resource extractions, coastal constructions and climate change. Reefs are habitats that provide structural complexity, which attract and concentrate fish. Reefs can function as protection both from predators and the environment. Furthermore, reefs often have higher food availability in comparison to the surrounding areas. Recent studies have shown that reefs contribute to overall fish population levels. However, the underpinning mechanisms for this isn't fully understood. Our study examined juvenile Atlantic cod. They are frequently preyed upon by larger fish and marine mammals, including the harbor porpoise, harbor seal and the gray seal. To avoid predation, Atlantic cod shelter within complex habitats, especially consisting of boulders or cobble. Efficient use of energy varies upon activities such as swimming, feeding, growth and reproduction. To understand how different habitats affect the energy use of Atlantic cod, we set up an experiment which looked into the energy use in two different habitats, specifically in a reef habitat and a sand bottom habitat. The rate of oxygen consumption can be used to estimate the amount of energy being used under different situations. If the fish save energy when in a reef habitat, the saved energy may be available for growth or reproduction. This mechanism could contribute to the observed increased production of fish and reefs. We started by assembling respirometry chambers and then placed juvenile Atlantic cod into the chambers for a 35 hour period. 11 hours were to allow them to get used to the chamber followed by a 24 hours data collection period. Two different habitats were simulated, a stone reef and a sandy bottom habitat. The chambers allowed us to measure the amount of oxygen used by the cods in the two different habitats. These measurements of cod oxygen consumption rate were used to estimate energy consumption, since oxygen consumption rate correlates with the energy use. Fish tested in this study had on average significantly reduced energy use when situated in the stone reef habitat in comparison to the same fish situated on sand bottom habitats. This shows that fish in the stone reef habitat on average save 20% energy compared with fish situated in the sand bottom habitat. Our study shows that the energy use of Atlantic cod is clearly affected by the surrounding habitat. Cod save energy when they have access to reef areas. Therefore, it's likely that reefs promote increased production of cod. Continued efforts of protecting reefs and reversing the damage that has already occurred is important as reefs help bolster our fish populations.